Here's a question that a student asked. They had uh, created this script, but they were getting an error in the script. If we scroll down and run the script, then we get some errors. Often the warnings and the errors that are will, will print out uh, some suggestions of where the problem is. You might notice here that it seems to be that, that there's a problem once we get to the histogram line. So somewhere before that, we're probably having some difficulties. Now, of course, we'd like the breaks in this histogram to go from the minimum of the data to the maximum of the data and to divide it up into a number of pieces. Let's take a look at that minimum and maximum. There's at least two ways to see that. I've commented out these two lines to avoid having any trouble uh, with them because certainly it's when I get to the histogram at least that I'm having the difficulty. Let's just put in a command here that will sort the income. And so let's run that command. And that seems to do OK. Now we can clearly see what the minimum value is and what the maximum value is. Now notice that when this code was building the, the breaks, it was going from 22,000 from 22, up to 70,000. And that's clearly starting below the minimum and going to above the maximum. So let's take a look at the breaks. interesting. It would start here. There's the next break. The last break is at 64,000. It really didn't go all the way up to 70,000 as we expected it to. So I'm going to try this trick. I'm going to concatenate what breaks was and then put one more value there on the end. And then I'd like to look and see what the breaks are. So let's run that script. OK. So it'll start here. That'll be the next break, the next break, and there's the ending break. So let's edit this a little more. I'm going to remove that line where we looked at the breaks. And open this line up again. Ah, okay. So there's where the problem was. Somehow in building these breaks, we really didn't get up to grab all of the data. Now in the textbook, we made a big deal about worrying about the breaks and getting them all set up just right. But, but R can actually make its own decisions about how to build breaks. So let's comment these out and just run the histogram of, uh, of income without letting it make the decisions about where the breaks will be. And if you look at the last two histograms that we made, they're, they're relatively similar. R seems to have decided to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bins in this case. Uh, if, if we have to if we have to have a certain number of bins, then uh, we're going to have to work with the brakes and make them work ourselves. But if we're just looking at the data and want to get a feel for the shape of the data, just a histogram of the data will do the job. Okay, hope that helps.